and welcome back to season seven of sea of thieves it has been about a week since they've updated the game and the release has come out but we are here to tell you about the information we have found within that week but before we go anywhere i want to introduce you all to my beautiful sloop maria and if you haven't christened your ship already here's the chance for all those out there sailing the seas during this season here's to you now as always to start off the season we like to take a look at the season pass and see what is new and in store for us this time around just as most of you know the season pass is 100 levels and if you'd like to purchase the plunder pass for an additional 13 items you may do so starting off with our first pretty cool item if you do purchase the plunder pass is the baleful bloom costume this costume is so cool it comes with its own emote and that emote is freaking awesome look at this thing look at it at level 10 we have these beautiful sails as well as the bounty flag Level 13, the Bounty Capstan. 15, the Captaincy Hat. Level 17, we have the Captaincy Shirt. As well as level 20, we have the Coconut Tankard, followed by the Plunder Pass's Bounty Hole. 22, we have the Peg Leg, as well as 23, another Plunder Pass item, the Bounty Wheel. 25, we have this new makeup. And level 30, we have the Captaincy Jacket, followed by the Plunder Pass's Bounty Sales. 33, we have the Captaincy Dress, as well as 36, we have a new tattoo. 40, we have the Captaincy Trousers, as well as the Figurehead. 43, we have two new hairstyles which go well with male and female characters and level 45 which i'm mostly excited about this season is the merrick's jacket now this is only available for pirate legends so make sure that this season you get to level 45 as well as if you're not already become a pirate legend level 50 we have the watermelon wheel as well as the baleful bloom costume level 2 and level 55 we have the capsi boots now if you're wondering why have you seen these before it's because the courage boots are exactly the same but they do not have the gold trim on the top level 60 we have the seashell eye patch as well as the bounty cannons 66 we have the captaincy gloves 70 we have a new eye of reach as well as cannon flares 76 we have the captaincy belt 80 we have the captaincy hook and the collector's bounty figurehead 84 another pretty cool item is the courage of captaincy beard level 90 captaincy eye patch and the level 3 costume for the baleful bloom this whole outfit gives off a really cool moana vibe and i'm so digging it but as you may ask yourself this item is actually really cool what could be level 100 what could top that item for this season and i might add to you it is merrick's cutlass for the pirate legends as well as a scar that you will receive for all players followed by the collector's bounty sales but my most favorite item in this season which i still have yet to unlock hopefully by the end of the season i will have is the seafarer's sun hat i'm already excited that i get to wear it with just a level one costume but i can't wait to see what i can do with it in the future and lastly to know if you do not know this already you get 25 free ancient coin every 10 levels starting at level 8 for free during the season pass and if you purchase the blunder pass you will get an additional 25 per every 10 levels starting at level 5. moving forward to what is more important if you do need to level up your renown this is the way we're gonna do it Make sure you take a look at your weekly trials as they will differ depending on the week you're on, especially if you're trying to do this last minute and only have days or even hours left. These are going to be the best things you can do to start boosting up your renown as quickly as possible. Besides the weekly trials, don't really worry about the monthly trials as much. I definitely recommend putting some time into the season. As I'm out about level 61, and this took me nearly 12 hours to do, so I'm estimating around 18 to 20 hours for myself. But I know that most players are going to take about 30 hours to actually complete this season pass. But with these season trials, hopefully you can get that time down even further. If you take a look at these, they are very specific to a different zone or a certain voyage that you have to accomplish. If you go ahead and focus on one, one at a time you can actually get a huge boost of renown by doing so i definitely recommend taking a look at the sea ford scavenger i firmly believe that this is one of the easiest things that you can do this season in order to level up your renown as the sea fortresses are very easy to accomplish as well as get a lot of loot while doing so but the thing i do recommend every season especially if you need to get an extra boost of renown is make sure that you're joining alliances and you're getting on bigger ships the more players you have on your crew the easier it is to earn renown as everything is shared i recommend two things this season if you really want to grind down and get that level 100 but before we talk about those two things let's talk about what's new and what's available to you to help you out with your adventures one of the new and most exciting features about this update is the shipwright this beautiful lady as well as every one of them located at each and every one of the outposts now offers you a limited supply of material that will go directly into 
into your barrels on your ship. And taking it a step further, they've even added captaincy voyages. Some of these can be bought in bulk as well as the higher the level you're renowned, the better the voyage is going to be. You'll find bundles for every emissary as well as even mercenary. The coolest part about the captaincy voyages are that you can hold up to 50 of them at a time on your ship. But now let's talk about the two things that have helped me level up my renown this season. Starting off, we have ship fleets. Every time that you load into a server, you might see in the air a beautiful cloud that looks like a ship. For those that have come across these already, they might be a little bit easier than just an average solo slooper. But if you're able to accomplish these, not only will you get a bunch of loot and supplies to hopefully level up your emissaries this will also give you ritual scrolls which if you'd like to take it a step further you can even go complete four of the dam depending on your playstyle, if you feel like you might even do better as a solo sloop i definitely recommend checking out these fortresses not only did i mention them earlier as having seasonal trials which will help give you a big boost of renown but there are also plenty of them located around the map so on your way to either get supplies or continue around the map from hopping to island to island make sure that you hit these fortresses as well you can even see not only are they located on the outside of the map but some of them are even located close to outposts which means in a short period of time you can get a good amount of loot that's easy to secure the best part about the fortresses are that they're so easy to do most of the weapons will kill them within one shot and if you really need to keep an eye on the horizon you can defend yourself with all the cannons that are located around the fortress so that's going to be it for me as i said if you do need help with any of your leveling and renown make sure you join either my discord or the sea of thieves discord in the description below as well as follow my twitter for more information and up-to-date news once again i hope this video has helped let me know in the comment section down below what level you made it to this season lastly the next time you come across my ship it'll probably be customized a little bit differently but make sure you say hello and also have a great day stay safe out there and i'll catch you in the next one